Howdy y'all, it's Russell back. And on today's video, we're gonna be taking the hybrid soap test challenge once again. If you remember back on the last video that I did, I tested five different random soaps in one container. That's the MTM submachine gun style foamer. And on this episode, I think this is gonna be a trend. We're gonna do six different soaps. Let me show you the ones I randomly picked. We've got the Pro Super car wash. This is the uh, the almost banana-ish looking car soap. Just to remind everybody, uh, I have a separate test on each one of these soaps. Then we have the Ultima Paint Guard Wash. We've got the Trinova Car Shampoo and Conditioner. And we've got the 901 Duragloss Car Wash Concentrate. And then we've got <clears throat> the Zymol Auto Wash. This was a good soap. And last but not least, we've got the Black Magic Wet Shine Car Wash. So I'm going to take all six of these soaps, combine them in the MTN Submachine Gun Style Foamer. We're going to go foam the Tundra. We'll look at the Tundra. We'll let it First, we'll let it dwell for six minutes. It's about uh, 68 degrees outside in there. It's complete. There's no cloud at all. So it's full sun and it's windy. So it will evaporate pretty fast. It is black paint. The paint's kind of hot, but you know what? What else could we do for the experiment of science and the fun of it? All right, so let's, uh, let's redeploy the camera and look at how dirty this Tundra got. All right, so this thing is absolutely Filthy. It hasn't been washed. I let it get this dirty on purpose so we could do these tests. It's been over a month. I think uh, the 1st of March was when I did the five hybrid soap test. And this happens to be April the, what is it? April the 23rd. All right. Well, you can probably hear the wind behind me. And uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, look at that. Look at that blue sky. All right, well, uh, let me get the uh, MTM submachine gun style foamer readied up and uh, we'll see how this foams. All right, we've got all six of our soaps in here. Let's see how this foams. I have to say this may be the best smelling combination I've ever used so far it is a super thick you see the different layers this is almost a three layer there's that base layer you've got this layer coming down 
and then in between there's another layer. Feels like Wonder Wash. All right, so this um, this wind is really going to dry this out pretty fast. Look at that, like shaving cream. Super, super slick. My hose, my hose is leaking. All right, well, I'm gonna let it dwell for six minutes. I'm gonna try to fix this real fast and uh, we'll be back. All right, so uh, on the sun side here, probably 80% of it's gone, maybe a little more. On the top and the hood, flat surfaces, probably 40, 30, 40%. It is drying and it doesn't look like, well, these are all pH neutral soaps, so it's not gonna hurt the paint. All right, well, let's, uh, Let's rinse this off and see if it will have loosened the uh, any of the bonded contaminants. You can see there's quite a few. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Well, it rinsed off very nice. There is a enormous amount of foam that's still sitting on the driveway. Um, it doesn't look like it really did anything to the bonnet contaminants, which I wouldn't have expected it to. But you can see it certainly also did not strip off any of the paint protection. It's beating up really nice. Uh, it's still got Meguiar's fast finish on it. All right, well, let's get our famous bucket set up and we'll combine all the soaps into that uh, receptacle and see how that foams and how it performs in a hand wash. All right, so I'm gonna do it in here because the sun outside is so intense. Now this, unlike the other individual soap test, isn't really you know, limited to an ounce or whatever, so We've got the uh, supercar wash. We've got the uh, Ultima paint guard wash. This is definitely the most viscous. Looks like looks like Johnson's baby shampoo. We've got the Zymol auto wash. This is the most pleasing looking, and I think it smells just like coconuts. We've got the Trinova car shampoo and conditioner. Looks very similar to the Zymol. We've got the Black Magic Wet Shine car wash. Doesn't have much smell to it. And then we've got the Duragloss car wash concentrate. Oh, definitely looks like and smells like cherries. All right, let's see how this foams. All right, I had to fix the pressure washer. Um, all right, so this has a very, uh, pretty dense foam. There's a lot of wind still coming in here and it's a very, very stable foam. It's very, very slick, which is what you want to see. Okay. It smells really, really good. 
It's a cross between a banana, coconut, and Johnson's baby shampoo smoothie. All right, well, let's get everything set up and we'll do our multiple mitt wash and see if we can remove the bonded contaminants on the tundra. All right, so I'm going to do our multiple wash mitt method. All I'm gonna do is uh, dunk the wash mitt in here and I'm gonna use one side only per area. If you guys are still using the two bucket method, all I gotta ask you is why. All right, so I did that area. I'm gonna flip the wash mitt over to the clean side and do another area. Notice that the dirty wash mitt has not touched or gone into the clean water. Now when I'm done, I just kind of wring it out and throw it in my bucket here. That bucket will go in the laundry to be clean. That's the only way that you can get all the grit out. All right, putting a, putting a grit guard in the bottom of a rinse bucket will not get all the contaminants out of the fibers of your wash mitt or your wash rag, whatever you're using. Just won't do it. So now I'm gonna flip it over. Notice I'm working from the top down because the bottom area is uh, a lot more soiled. And it doesn't matter so much on this as it would if you insisted on using the uh, two bucket method. All right, put that in there, grab another one. Go around the other side. This is far easier way to prevent scratches and All right, so I've got everything dried up here and it did an absolutely fantastic job in the hand wash. It is nice and smooth, it's clean. I gotta tell you, this, this as far as all these combinations I've done before, this one is, I'm gonna say a 9.75 at least. The, the thing that I like about it is it's very, very slick. It lasts a long time in the wash mitt and it, it really cleans. I didn't have to put hardly any effort into it at all. Very, very good combination. So I started doing this, the last one, doing five soaps, <laughs> kind of just as a joke. But uh, I actually like mixing these soaps randomly like this. and. As, I, as we can see right here, I really like this combination. In fact, I'm going to use that combination again just um, because it works so good. So I think this is what, I will, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Uh, this was six soaps. The next video will be seven, then eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know how many I have in each box. Maybe, maybe we'll stop at ten. I don't know. Maybe then we'll combine them and we'll just keep going up. Uh, sometimes the combination of the soap chemistries don't work out so well. Sometimes you get two really good soaps and combine them and they're eh, just mediocre, but I don't know. This one, this one turned out really good. I'm very pleased with it. So, uh, with that being said, uh, if you want me to continue to, uh, to do these, 
Um, every video will just go up one, just add a soap. I'm gonna keep digging out of different boxes and uh, we'll just see where this ends up. So if you guys like this and wanna keep doing it, want me to keep doing it then, uh, and filming it, I'm more than happy to because it's, um, it's fun and it's interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you on the next one.